Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to read an excerpt from one of my favorite books of all time, The Power of Neuroplasticity, okay? I wanted to read an excerpt titled improving your day and rewiring your brain i'm just gonna get straight into it okay i feel like this is really relevant for those of you that are um, into manifestation you practice the law of assumption okay this could be something um that might drastically you know change the way that you go about doing things maybe uh you know even the way that you perceive things the self-talk that you have this book really focuses a lot on like self-talk and the author shad helmstetter he literally wrote a book that says what to say when you talk to yourself which is i think something yeah i, I think i'm going to read this book next it's definitely on my like to read book okay because i just i love this book so much and i'm really taking my time with this book like i feel like um i'm only like halfway through more than halfway through but it's like i uh highlight a lot of things and I, you know, annotate them, make notes. I literally have like, um, you know, I, I have a Google Drive where I compile all these facts. And actually, I'm going to go ahead. I like already started doing this, but I'm making an ebook of all the neuroscience facts that I've compiled so far about manifestation, uh, robotic affirming, you know, just affirmations in general, just everything I know about the neuroscience behind, you know, manifesting behind thinking okay so yeah i'll let you know when that comes out uh you can you'll be able to find that um on my website okay which is in the link in the description box below i do have a guide out on manifesting a soulmate or a specific person on my etsy okay which a lot of people have come back to me and said they saw like movement and uh you know changes from filling out that guide okay the link to that will be uh in my website which will be in the description box below so uh yeah do check that out if that is of interest to you but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get started with reading this paragraph actually it's not just a paragraph it's like it's two whole pages but i really like this though improving your day and rewiring your brain in actual practice becoming your inner counselor works like this okay so i really like that term inner counselor you need to be your own manifestation coach okay you need to pretend that like you know you're two people you're your inner counselor and then you're yourself okay uh yeah but let me just read this before i go off on a tangent because i tend to do that a lot as an example let's say paul has a recurring attitude that is negative something that has been with him since adolescence paul's teenage years were difficult and programs of not measuring up which were wired into him have stayed with him now paul is in his mid-30s he knows enough about neuroplasticity to realize that his persistent lack of self-confidence could be changed if he were to begin having a new kind of conversation with himself he's coaching a little league team and he enjoys it but every time his team has had a bad day he's felt like a failure who has just let everyone down but now when he feels the emotions that signal his self-doubt are coming to surface instead of hiding from that feeling or trying to ignore it until it passes he consciously steps into his new role as his inner counselor and creates a completely new dialogue with himself it might sound something like this okay paul the game hasn't gone well but that's okay what you're really feeling has nothing to do with this game anyway it has to do with you losing belief in yourself when you were in little league when you were 14 that was a long time ago it's over and it wasn't as important as you thought it was you got past it and here you are a coach let's make today a great day no matter how the game comes out all your kids are winners and you are too let's show them your best okay so yeah this is the part i really like you'll notice that in this example paul's self dialogue is in second person you instead of i Paul is using second person because he's talking to himself from the position of a higher self. The part of him that he imagines residing above or outside of himself. This higher self is more objective. It doesn't register the same emotions Paul is feeling inside, becoming because the wiser Paul is consciously detached. I love this so much, okay? So the fact that, you know, him talking uh you know from his higher self from the perspective of his higher self by saying you you got this you're doing this he was able to consciously detach from the you know like lower vibrational or like you know emotions that he was feeling like the sad anxious emotions uh you know he was feeling so when you find yourself getting really triggered about something that you're seeing in the 3d uh talk to yourself uh from the tense of you like hey you're gonna be okay you're gonna be fine it's okay. Maybe look at yourself in the mirror. Look at, uh, you know, look yourself in the eyes in front of a mirror and tell yourself like, no, you got this. You're going to be able to transcend past these circumstances. You're amazing. Okay. That way 
um, you know, th that's like your inner counselor, right? And uh, you're you're sort of like embodying a different version of yourself. That's what I meant when I said uh, you're, you know, envision yourself as like two different people. There's the you that's going through something right now uh, that's feeling a little bit emotional. And then there's like the higher version of you, the higher self uh, that's like guiding you. Okay. Like you becoming your own inner counselor is the key to achieving anything in life, transcending negative circumstances. Okay. Of course, there's a lot of people that offer like coaching, manifestation coaching. I do that as well. Okay. But, uh, you know, what I tend to tell my clients a lot is that you need to become your own manifestation coach. I will give you the guidance. I will be there for you. You know, if you're feeling triggered, you feel like you need someone to talk to, you know, I will be there for you as a manifestation coach. But what I essentially want everyone to be able to do is to become their own manifestation coach and be so regulated in themselves, uh, in themselves that, you know, they're able to guide themselves. They're able to coach themselves through hard situations. Okay. Because sometimes there comes you know, a time where maybe you don't have time to talk to someone, maybe like you're just going through it and you're going through like a whirlwind of emotions, you know, you're getting triggered this and you need to be able to find a way to calm yourself and regulate yourself. And there's so many different ways of doing that. Okay, there's so many ways to regulate your nervous system. Uh, one of them being EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique tapping. I have a playlist um, on that on my YouTube channel. There's like meditation, you know, breath work. There's going outside for a walk. And then there's like, you know, just talking to yourself uh, from, is this like second tense? I'm not even sure what tense this is, but like just, you know, talking to yourself from this, the book here just says from the position of a higher self by just referring to yourself as you rather than I, okay? Because again, the higher self is more objective and it's not registering the same feelings that you're feeling inside when you're feeling triggered or, or low or down or frustrated because, you know, the wiser you is consciously detached. So yeah, um, after this, it says some people are more comfortable talking to themselves in the mo more familiar first person as I. Both forms work, okay? But if you've been trying something and you're just like, okay, maybe I need to switch things up, then, you know, just try talking to yourself uh, from the perspective of like, oh, you got this. You can do this, okay? If Paul continues to keep his inner counselor close by and repeats a similar scenario each time the problem comes up, he will in fact be rewiring his brain with new circuits that let him know the fear and doubt he felt as a 14-year-old are no longer real. They only come from past programs that are no longer valid, okay? Because a lot of what we do go through um, is a reflection of our inner child or the time that our inner child felt hurt. But, you know, if you're an adult and, like, you know, you're past that experience, uh, even though, like, you know, something triggering could happen that, you know, triggers that inner child, you need to be able to tell yourself like hey i know i felt this at some point but this is not who i am this, that, that was a different reality and that way you stop operating from the past because the truth is the past isn't real it's just your perception of the past that's why it also helps to uh, revise, okay, revise the situation. If you had like a tough childhood, you, know, you can tell yourself that like, okay, I, you know, um, my childhood wasn't that bad, like it was fine. Um, or maybe if you don't want to do that, just tell yourself, okay, well, you know, that happened in the past, but that's not who I am. Uh, I've changed. I'm more conscious of my thoughts and feelings. I'm more mature. Sorry, my leg fell asleep. Okay. And um, yeah, you know, that will definitely every time you do that, every time you tell yourself, okay, you know, that this is something from the past. It's okay. My inner child feels safe. I feel safe and secure. Uh, you rewire your brain with new circuits. And every, every time you do that, you know, that adds up and that leads to more abundance. Every time you do any small thing that's good for you mentally, emotionally, even like, you know, having healthy habits, all of those add up and it helps you reach that next up level, okay? So anytime you are feeling triggered or down, um, try to just gather yourself, calm yourself, of course, validate yourself, but then also you have to find a way to, um, you know, regulate yourself, okay? And this is a really good way of doing that, so yeah. Uh, the next paragraph says, the key to success of the inner counselor is that it gives you a way to create new neural pathways by using cognitive tools like fact, intellect, and logic. Exactly the kind of tools our emotions so often ignore. While it's true that emotions themselves chemically increase the strength of the programs, in this case, it is the repeated self-dialogue that allows thoughtful reasoning to create the new pathways. You guys, that is why I preach robotic affirming, okay? Again, it says it's the repeated self-dialogue that allows thoughtful reasoning to create the new pathways. So when in doubt, you know, just keep affirming. Even if you're feeling sad or down at the moment, just pick yourself up. Be like, okay, you know what? This too shall pass. I'm validating my feelings, but I don't need to feel this way. For me, I don't like feeling sad for like, you know, more than a certain period of time. Sometimes I do have like off days, but they're not even days anymore. It's like just like off minutes. Maybe like I'll just get triggered about something. Um, but then I'll like find a way to 
you know, get past that. I personally like, I really like this phrase, when in doubt, self-concept it out. And yeah, anytime something triggering pops up, I just think of the self-concept version of that and I'm fine, you know? So uh, yeah, definitely do try doing that yourself. Okay, when in doubt, self-concept it out. Again, validate your feelings, feel what you need to feel. But then at some point, tell yourself, okay, you know, I got this. I'm going to be fine. Um, and every time you do that, again, it adds up and it helps you create new neural pathways, okay? So yeah, um, I really, really hope this helps. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I do offer manifestation coaching. I also offer in-depth hair readings. I custom make subliminals and I do have a guide out on my Etsy that you can use to manifest uh, soulmate love, a specific person, you know, really anything, uh, any type of love, okay? Uh, new love, okay? So if you're interested in that, the link to that will be in the description box below, okay? The link being my website, which will be in the description box below. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much.